Yes, I am feeling very confident in our case. Uh, there's no indication uh, seeing him today that there's any remorse again. So uh, that even bolsters my confidence, you know, because you know, at some point in your heart of good people that you want to feel some remorse from the person that did such a cruel thing to your child. And, and somewhere in your heart you want to feel that and so you want to have some compassion even for the person that shot your child. You want to have a little compassion for him and his family. But it's very hard to do that when he has no remorse and no compassion for you. I just so. believe that a father, a father who has his own children could be capable of doing something like this. When I look at him, I say, you're a father, you have your own children. You know, how would you feel, what would you think if someone did this to you? And I find it very hard to have compassion for him because I know what he's what he's done is not only devastating to us, but as a father, does that not devastate your children and your family? And I don't know where his sense of parenthood is and compassion and understanding just as a father, as a parent. I think I wanted to see the human being from him. And uh, a lot of people have told me, well, why look for that because of what he did to your son? But, you know, sometimes people, they do things uh, and it's just a flash, you know. Sometimes, you know, we all do things and we say, you know what, if I had to think about it, we would never do something, whatever we did. You know, all of us, I think, at one time did that. And so I, I wanted in my heart to believe that was the case, that if he had it to do all over again, he wouldn't have done that to my son. But now I see he would have. If he had to do it 10 times, he would have killed my son 10 times and he would have tried to kill the kids in the car 10 times. And that's everybody's kids. So this guy should never ever see the light of day on the streets again as a free person.